lady. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be starting the program in about three minutes, so please come in and take your seat. We'll be starting the program in about three minutes. There's a lot you don't know about me. <laughs> I come out of this subculture. All right, here it comes. Yeah. I want Jesus to be my amigo for my birthday. <laughs> I came here to escape it because I was ashamed of it. But it turns out that I'm ashamed of Jesus. Yeah. Is this going to get weird? Yeah, probably. At Reed College, forget everything you think you may know, because you do not know anything. Your private religious wacko beliefs are none of my business, but if you plan on ever making friends, get in the closet, Baptist boy. There's a guy dressed in a Pope outfit pushing a burning shopping cart. Everyone here seems so sure of themselves. You know nothing. I just wanted to fit in. You're okay with heights, right? But... Was it you? It was just a joke. You don't even know what you did because you don't know the people that you hurt. Think back to when you were nice. Come on. Do I look stupid? You just look like you don't belong. Don't you ever wonder why God doesn't just do something? You only believe that stuff because you're afraid to hang out with people who don't. Don't let them brainwash you, Donnie. You really want to hear all this? Friends may not think you're cool. They smile, they shake your hand, then you're drinking the Kool-Aid. It was a mistake. Why are you trying to hide who you are? I made a mistake. Improvise, write your own story. The universe doesn't owe us meaning, son. If you want meaning, I suggest you try a dictionary. My dad told me jazz is like life because it doesn't resolve. But what if we're not alone? What if all these stars are notes on a page of music swirling in the blue like jazz? We have actually uh, many, many people who are watching us on the internet right now. Yeah, welcome. Yeah. There are not very many uh, premieres for movies in Portland, Oregon. And uh, we decided to, you know, L.A. wasn't a hip enough town for us, so we had to come here. <laughs> yeah, the, the story Blue Like Jazz takes place in Portland at a, at a college called Reed College, a place that is just an institution for the city of Portland, a quirky, awkward place where some of these uh, characters have spent some time. Penny graduated from Reed. I audited classes from Reed. So, are there any Reedies here? <laughs> a few. <laughs> A few, they're probably working on physics homework right now. But uh, it's good to see you guys. So we wanted to actually, we we're premiering in Nashville in two days, but our very first premiere, we wanted to be here in Portland, Oregon, where the story of Blue Leg Jazz actually takes place at Reed College. So uh, with us, and I think there are hundreds and potentially thousands of people watching us now online. Uh, potentially thousands. Yeah. How many does the internet have? Billions, right? Billions of people. <laughs> All of India is watching us right now. I want to introduce, I'll introduce from the far side, this is Steve Taylor, he is the director of the movie Blue Like Jazz. And just so you guys know, there's two microphones here. One is the house mic for people who are here live at the Baghdad Theater in Portland, Oregon. And thank you for waiting in the rain. How appropriate that it started raining right before the premiere 
It's like God was saying, no, this is Portland. Make it rain. Make it rain. And uh, so you will need to hold this mic if you want anybody on the internet to hear you. You will need to hold a, la a Macintosh laptop on your lap. No, you'll need to hold this mic. Oh, we're in-house, so we don't need to do this. So can I drop this microphone? I really feel like I'm doing a press conference at the White House, but I will drop it. Yeah, so uh, Steve Taylor, he is the director of this film. He's the guy who made this entire thing happen from beginning to end. He's a man who never sleeps. And uh, he honestly is the hardest working man in show business. Uh, he, 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 he has never had a daydream in his entire life. He is always fully engaged, and he eats no simple carbs. Steve Taylor. Uh, Matt Godfrey, who you will see uh, in the film, is a wonderful actor from Los Angeles, California. He plays uh, the Russian. And we have a number of characters in this film who don't have a name. We have the Russian and the Pope. And, <laughs> you know, you have a name, but right. Uh, and so you will see him. Jason is our youth minister. He plays Kenny in the film. You have seen him on Nickelodeon and, and uh, many other, not Nickelodeon, you've seen, he's probably the most famous of all of us amongst, uh, step, by step. step by step. Step Are you by on, step. Can you turn that? Step by step. Everybody. Marshall. You love it. You know it. Step by step. Marshall Allman plays uh, uh, the lead character in the entire film. It's from... Does an amazing job. He's uh, from HBO's True Blood, and before that, Prison Break. And uh, before that, he was uh, Santa Claus in various Christmas movies. <laughs> Wonderful to see Marshall here. <laughs> Tanya Raymon, we stole from the, the television series Lost. Any Lost fans? The beautiful Tanya Raymon. And then I wanted to personally invite the real Penny, who's a major character in this film. This is the real Penny. Uh, Claire Holt is not with us tonight. Claire is back in Los Angeles, wanted to come, sends her love to everybody. But Claire Holt actually plays Penny, so this is the real Penny. And then I'm the real, I'm not really the real Don. We tried so hard to find a guy who was skinny enough to play me, and we finally found Marshall. We asked him to gain 50 pounds, but he wouldn't do it. De Niro would have done it. He, would, he wouldn't do it. But uh, I just want to ask you guys, how are you feeling? We're, we're here at the premiere of Blue Like Jazz in Portland, Oregon. Friday, April 13th, this movie hits theaters. We already found out that there are showings in Atlanta, Georgia that are sold out. It, and we, you can't get a ticket. Uh, if you're in Atlanta, please try to get a ticket. But there are showings that are sold out. So we're, we're really excited about this. But I'm going to pass the microphone a little bit. Steve, you can pass this way. I'll pass this way. And uh, we'll start with you, Steve. How are you feeling tonight on the premiere? Good, Don. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. You're not the slightest bit anybody, nervous. Everybody, I, I, you got a little wet, didn't you? I'm sorry about that. But you got candy, right? The candy was good, right? There were red vines. They, and, they're, and they're waterproof. That's what I came up with, waterproof candy. <laughs> that was my gift to all of you. Matt? I, up from Los Angeles, how are you feeling about tonight's premiere? This has been, by the way, how long ago did we film this? 2010. A year and a half ago. A year and a half ago. A year the and a half thing ago. Is, I got cast, though, in like early 2009. So I feel like I've been involved for years. I guess I have been involved for years. I feel great that we're finally here. I've never been to Portland before. Your town is fantastic. I love it. Um, it's a great place. I'm excited. I'm pumped. Yeah. Jason. Let me ask you, how, first, how are you feeling? I'm then I have another question I, for you. I feel great. It's, an, it's, really, it's really cool. I'm happy for you guys. I'm just giddy for the whole response. I know what a labor of love this is. And, yeah. and, and clearly, uh, clearly, people are responding. So I'm but stoked for you guys. Why did you get involved in this project? Why did you want to do this? Well, I mean, this? selfishly, I'm an actor, and I like to act. And the... Uh, <laughs> The, uh, and we paid you eight boxes of crackers <laughs> and a t-shirt. <laughs> which I ch loved and cherished. 10% went to my agent, which was, it was a hard negotiation. But, uh, so it's a half shirt yeah, now. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> it shows your belly button. I gave it to my, my son. Uh, uh, well, it's weird. This was shot in Nashville. Uh, I, I, I live in Los Angeles. My wife is from Nashville, and we were in town, and... And uh, I have representation there, and they sent me a uh, copy for this, and I read it, and, and, uh, and thank thankfully, you liked what I did and, and, and hired me. 
Yeah. Simple well, we're, we're, we're you know, very excited that you're here with us tonight. Well, thanks. You did a wonderful job in the film, as everybody will see here tonight and everybody I'm on still the in internet it? and in India. You'll see it on okay. uh, I haven't seen it yet. Friday the 13th. This you haven't seen the film at all? First time seeing it, yeah. My goodness. You know it's in Japanese with subtitles. I, 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 did, I got Rosetta Stone before I got here. So. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> Marshall, hey. you're the man of the hour. Hey. I mean, this is... Uh, hey, guys. How do I feel? I feel pretty good. Um, me and my wife's birthday was this week. Yeah. We're a day apart. Uh, Jamie Almond, and you'll yeah. see her on what? Oh, uh, AMC's The Killing. The killing. <laughs> hey, come on. Um... Yeah, no, we came here, we celebrated a couple days early, ate, ate some vegan food, like you would do in Portland. <laughs> it was really good. The Voodoo Vegan Donut is the best, yeah. is the best pastry in town. Voodoo Donut. Because they double the butter. I mean, they double the oil, <laughs> yeah. and it's it great. Bacon and Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I absolutely love Portland, and uh, no better place to have the premiere than here, so I'm very excited for all of you to see it tonight. Yeah. Well, we're very happy yeah, to have it. You can clap about that. Come on, and guys. Marsh, real quick, how long has this been for you? I mean, Blue Egg Jazz didn't start right before we filmed. Tell us the whole story real I think, quick. Uh, for me, it's just 